what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hey in this video I want to show you guys how I built a QRD diffuser that probably would run you around fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars and I was able to do it for less than a hundred dollars um, you can see right there is a piece of four it's a four by eight sheet of underlayment that you would use to level a floor or something like that and some pine boards they're one by three pine boards and a one by eight pine board uh, to make this one right here I bought all my material from Lowe's you can see right there that the underlayment was fifteen dollars and the boards are only a couple dollars a piece and uh, what I'm doing right here is I'm just cutting the the underlayment down to seven and three quarter inches because that's the deepest well that I'm going to have for this diffuser so all of my slats that for the uh, for the QRD diffuser, they're all going to be seven and three quarter inches, which you can see right here. Uh, I ended up cutting all of those, like I said, to seven and three quarter inches. And you can find this calculator online. I just googled QRD diffuser panel or calculator, and on the left right there is what pops up. And the very first one that pops up, it'll take you to the page on the right. And then down at the very bottom of that page, you can see it has a calculator. You just type in the numbers that you want and it'll calculate everything for you and tell you basically how low of a frequency the panel that you're or the diffuser you're trying to build um, the frequencies that it'll, it will diffuse in your room uh, and you can see right here what I'm doing is just uh, I'm taking the one by three pieces of pine and I'm trying to line them up because each well is going to be completely different you know one, one in one well is going to be a half inch deep, the next one's going to be three inches deep, and the next one might be four inches deep, and then the next one could be, you know, a half inch and then three quarter inches. It's just, it's all going to be different relative to what that QRD diffuse, uh, diffuser calculator tells you. Uh, that's basically what it is, what your uh, dimensions will have to be. And so I'm trying to line up the, uh, the one by three pine board with the one by seven uh, piece of underlayment right there. And I, I put a clip in here for you guys too to show you how I nailed this together from the side. Uh, I, I used a nail gun. I suppose you could use glue if you were a little more patient than I am, I guess. But as soon as I build one like right here you'll see this one and once it gets flipped around and put into place now you can basically nail that one on and then you have your next one and you can nail that one on um, but you always want to make sure that you have the next one ready to go because if not then you'll be trying to nail from the back side and that'd be kind of difficult and you can see on this bottom clip right here what I was talking about you know you, you get one put in place and that one gets nailed and stick around guys because this thing it, it turns out pretty nice um, towards the end I mean this this thing is three feet by six feet so it, it's a monster it's a, it's a big one and if you can if you haven't already hit the subscribe button please do if you like this video uh, hit the like button you know drop me a comment this uh, I put this panel in my theater and I put it in the back window sill because I thought that would be the best spot for it and it wound out to be uh, not the best spot so I ended up taking it out of there and cutting it down into two pieces and put it on the side walls and that's actually working much better than it did on the very back wall but so the, the clip right here in the bottom you can see how I was talking about that you, know, you always want to have your next well in place and, and ready to go. On the top, you can see it's much nicer. Uh, on the bottom, I was just trying to, you know, give you guys a general idea of what I, how I was doing this. And then here is about halfway through, and you could see it started to turn out pretty nice, uh, especially for some pine wood. You know, it, it, like I said, it wasn't very expensive at all. Um, probably 50 or 60 bucks, I think, is about total what I spent on this thing. And you 
to see here in just a second the uh, the finished product before I actually painted it and the only thing that I wish that I would have done was maybe put some spacers in the middle of some of the wells to try to make sure that they all stayed perfect but all in all this thing turned out pretty good and and I'm actually pretty happy with it so thanks for watching and until next time thanks